All right, come on, bro. Let's go ahead and take you outside. Meet with your boss and get Lewis. Can you even feel the fear? Because you should be crapping in your pants right now. You have stepped into a big freaking mess. Uh, shut the Cleaning hell up. up the town mess. That's right. That's what I do. Yeah, like scum like you. It's easy. Uh, that was an awesome concert. If it wasn't for you, they would have never have guessed it was all on playback. I need some flu. I take noob, noob, noob. Everywhere I look, Shut up, I see noob, noob, noob. Hi. He really think he's a superstar, yo. Lewis. I'm Lewis. All right, Drop your weapon. You are under arrest. I don't think you're reading this situation correctly. <laughs> Thanks for the ride, big guy. Don't touch me, man. Uh, it's the new guy in town. Welcome to Detroit. I assume you've seen our little TV spot. Short and sweet. You know the first rule of show business and drug dealing, right? Leave them wanting more. That's a rider you got there. <clears throat> Murphy? Something wrong. Yeah, man, going through a malfunction. You shut up. Hey, so, I think it's time to get back to business. You fucking idiot. Your stupid stunt put a spotlight on me. Oh, you want to talk business? It's because he a junkie. Here's a free lesson. You never, ever fuck. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, there went that. Murphy, what's happening? Damn, bro. Now that we've got that out. Let me introduce myself. My name is Wendell Antonowski. I believe you've met my brother before. Oh, I killed his brother. I didn't kill him. My brother really did a number on you, didn't he? But thanks to him, he killed me. Him and his people shot me up. The dude with the glasses. What the fuck I think are you doing to brother. him? There are people who would do anything be in your position, to have your abilities, and yet you attach yourself to something that is the weakest in you, to the part that's still human. Imagine the pristine Man, they did so good on this RoboCop. Limit you. Murphy, don't let him get inside your head! Like her. No attachments, no leverage. I admit, when I first heard that you were the reason my idiot brother was dead, huh, I was furious. But then I got to thinking, why would I let anyone have such power over me? So I let it go. And now, I'm here to help you do the same. We're going to try to kill Lewis. This is not an act of revenge. This. Is Dad, an don't do it, bro. Fuck you, scumbag. You for real? Lewis. Oh. <coughs> oh no, bro. You shot. Another fucking glitch. What a shit show. Everything's ready, bro. Switch him back on already. Is Lewis gone, bro? Lewis! Whoa, Robo. Calm down, he'll tear the equipment apart. Wendell Antonowski ran away and Lewis is in the hospital. Oh. What did you do? Just stand there and watch it as it happened? Bro, shut your punk ass up. I want to see her. She's in surgery as we speak, so that's not gonna happen. Instead, you're gonna go through with your psych evaluation. Let me go! The old man wasn't happy that I let you skip your first session and was adamant that I make sure you attend this one. Especially since the problem of you malfunctioning has obviously persisted. 
So, Doctor, do your thing. What? Now? He's in no shape to be examined. I'm afraid that I must insist. This is highly unprofessional. I need to apprehend Wendell. I don't think you understand your options, Shiny, in that you don't have any. You either comply or you'll be dismantled. I'm only oh, really rooting for one of these options. Like that. Very well. Doctor? If this is supposed to resemble a therapy session, maybe in her any arm way, is supposed I to be like everyone that. that isn't maybe my I just client didn't to leave. Before. I don't know. That is not negotiable. And is it necessary to have him restrained? That's for your safety. What if he loses control? <sighs> exactly. If anything goes wrong, just use this reset button. One press, and he goes back to La La Land. Okay, let's leave the good doctor to work. And Robo, see me after this is over. I'm sorry it has to look like this. Are you at least sitting comfortably enough to have this conversation? My partner was shot, and I need to find the person responsible. You do. But I think you'll agree that you should be in the best shape possible to undertake that task. I understand this is not an ideal situation, and this is probably the last place you want to be right now. I am not the only one unwilling to be here. Your heart rate is above 120 BPM. <laughs> You're equipped with a heart rate monitor? I imagine it comes in handy in your line of work. It does. I agree this whole thing is happening rather fast, but we are both professionals at helping others. So how about we start again? My name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. Naturally, I've heard people refer to you by different names, but I'm curious to hear which one you prefer. My name is Alex Murphy. Then I'll call you Alex Murphy. I've worked with many police officers that have gone through traumatic experiences. But I think we can both agree that you are no ordinary police officer. How do you see your situation? I mean, if I'm thinking for myself, I will say this. I am a cybernetic organism. A fusion of both the remains of the policeman Alex Murphy and this high-tech armor. So we can't rule out that your actions are influenced by your human part. But that's something that I've already learned from the reports. What I would much rather hear is how do you perceive yourself? Perceive? Yes. See, what I found immensely helpful in working with my patients is transparency. In order to help each other, we need to be able to see each other fully. This is how I see myself. Thank you for making this step. Now that you see me the way I am, do you wish to push the reset button? Your heart rate remains high. No. Not at all. It's actually my secret that is making me nervous, not yours. You're not the only one here with prosthetic body parts. Oh, bro, so her arm is supposed to be this like that. Hand. I thought, you I must thought. have wondered what happened. <laughs> all right. Some time ago, I was a victim of a crime. A thief broke into my house. He made a lot of noise and my neighbors called the police. And Ed 209 reacted to the call and mistakenly recognized me as a threat. My hand was red mist moments later. Damn. Since that day I have become, let's say, a little leery of machines. Do you fear me? I fear the unpredictability that machines bring with them. So when I heard there was a chance to contribute to the research on the stability of OCP's mechanical units, I jumped at the opportunity. I hope you don't find it unprofessional. Getting that off my chest made me feel a bit better. How about you check my pulse now? It has dropped below 120 BPM. You see, I don't just impose things onto my clients. I practice what I preach because it seems to work. I think that makes for a very promising start. Thank you, Alex Murphy. I probably got multiple skill points. Let's go check. How do I do this round, though, man? A goddamn scene. Yeah, whatever. That's because I'm not going through collecting all the evidence. Yada yada yada. You know, and hostages just be dying. <laughs> Alright.
Okay, I got some skill points. Um, um, work on that armor. I can't activate it. Hey, Murphy. But, but, what? You have a minute? Ma what? It's about Chester? Lois. Oh, okay. What's up, bro? Talk to Did him. Did you say Lewis? Yeah. Me and a bunch of guys decided to sign this get well card for her. I figured that you'd want to sign it as well. A get well card? Yeah, I know. It's, it's just that we want to let her know we're with her. Lewis will like that. I would like to sign it. Damn right. Thanks, Murphy. I knew you'd understand. Actually, there are a few signatures that we still need. Could you ask him? Man, what the? I think I need a break. I had to start. Kowalski is hiding somewhere in the lobby. Understood. Man, he set me up on that one, huh? Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Becker. Uh, you are very determined. I must have seen your application like 20 times. I assume they were getting lost in the mail. Huh, that didn't stop you, did it? You're persistent and capable, too. Highest marks on all the written tests? Pretty much an ideal candidate. Aside from the fact that you don't meet any of the physical requirements, that's actually remarkable. Short stuff. Unfortunately, sir. Why is being a cop so important to you? My father was a police officer, and his father was one, too. A oh, police family, huh? It must be heartbreaking not to be able to continue a family tradition. Oh, I see what's you know, going on here, bro. I no. Have the power to look the other Lewis way is in the hospital. Despite your this dude about to become my partner, in exchange, bro. I only ask for one thing. God damn it. Complete loyalty. And maybe a touch of gratitude as well. Also, he not a known. Like a proper police officer? Badge? See, he oh, yeah. talking like that sure. dumbass shit right there. Then Officer Washington is reporting for duty. Good. There you go, youngin. Is... Is that blood? We don't make a badge for every new officer. We just reassign the old ones after cops retire. Die. Or die. R Robocop. I'm a big fan. Well, that's great, because you'll be spending a lot of time together. Bro, I know it. Meaning? Aside from his regular dispatch duty, Officer Washington will become your personal overseer. Overseer? Oh, what yes, the hell? Overseer? Yes, you report to me on his every action. The fuck Hopefully that will prevent is? him from continuing to tarnish his already murky reputation. His recent behavior casts a shadow on OCP, and we can't have that. Listen, I'm not listening that's to That's a lot of responsibility for a rookie. Every other cop refused this post. But you won't. You wouldn't jeopardize your career, right? Uh, no, sir. I would like to proceed with my investigation. Now that we know that the new guy is Wendell Antonowski. Was he even listening to anything I've been saying? Nigga, were you? Absolutely fucking not. You're off the case. Actually, you're off all cases. There's a bunch of documents that need archiving in the records room. Maybe That's this your kid's feelings now. hurt because I ain't listening to that. Understood. Right. Now go. I'll tell Achilles about what's what in this godforsaken place. Mm -mm -mm. It's Ulysses, sir. Hey, Man, first I'm rule, walking. kiddo. Never question your my ass on. I don't know what the hell they think they're doing to me, but I'm walking, man. I'm leaving his ass right where he at. Hi, Murphy. Hey, what's up? What seems to be the problem? Uh, Mr. Becker wants you to do some maintenance work, so, you know, please scan the servers, see if they're operating properly. I'm sure they are, but he insisted I found a job here for you. Yeah, I wish I had something more exciting for you to do, since for me, this is where all the action happens. Oh, yeah. Explain. With this wealth of information at your fingertips, this records room should be a real hotbed of activity. Others don't seem to know how fun it is to dig through all this stuff. You can play a real-life detective here. Officer Cecil, you are a detective. Yeah, but mostly just a paper pusher. So, if one wanted to find out the whereabouts of a particular criminal, what would one do? 
That's easy. Just check the computer in the back. Type in who you're looking for and see if there are any matches. Uh, j Appreciate just remember you. to scan the servers at some point. Mr. Becker will blow his top if I don't make sure you checked him. Working perfectly. Alright, it's working. I'm telling you, this is incredible. Just type in your search. Okay, sure. He's never been charged? Well, that's hard to believe. There's a, a neat feature you can try. See who attempted to access his file before you did. Maybe that'll help us. Briggs. And Briggs is missing. Officer Briggs. Briggs? That must be the last lead that he checked before going missing. So his case led him to the Street Vultures territory? That's crazy. Maybe those two cases are connected after all. I'll have to report this to Sergeant Reed. And I am on my way. There's nothing I can say to stop you, is there? No. No. Well, then instead I'll say, go kick ass for Lewis. I'm on my way, man. Good as new. Ah, RoboCop. I was looking everywhere for you. Damn, man. I wanted to say that this is an incredible honor for me. I was trying to get on the road. But, you know, I get the feeling you don't see eye to eye with Mr. Becker. Uh. Yet, despite the position I'm in, I'll do my best to assist you in any way I can. All right, now shut the fuck so, up. What are you doing here? I am going to Highland Park. Isn't that Street Vulture's turf? That is where the lead took Briggs. It could be connected to Wendell. Oh, man. Oh, here That's we go. That's exactly what Mr. Becker Listen, told me bro. you shouldn't do. Sit, hey. it, it's my duty to stop you. You, you need to shut is up. Is it even safe for you to go? I mean, think of yourself. You keep malfunctioning, right? What if something happens again? Hey, Murphy. I found this on the back seat of your cruiser. Yeah, it's I need for you. that. All right, right, I can't let you go. Uh, is there some sort of a command for that? Uh, Robocop, off. Uh, Robocop, stay. Oh, shut up, dude. Hey, all cops have to follow rules. Especially you. You're a cop and a machine, so you can't go. Your systems won't allow it. Right? Wrong. <laughs> uh, Robocop? Robocop. It ain't working. We out, Chief. Don't do this to me. Not on my first day. I know you're listening. There is still time to stop and turn back. The street vultures are territorial and vicious. You wouldn't want to be caught on their turf, especially by their leader, Spike. You know, I'm, I'm reading that he's known to be exceptionally okay, savage. Okay, we got some trouble. Apparently none of his enemies got out of Highland Park alive. Do I really want to mess with RoboCop? Look, what you looking at, bro? I will be the first. Uh, I'm gonna get fired. Yeah, maybe you are. Right. Factory. Finding a missing police officer there will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. I'm looking at the map of this place and it's huge. There's no way you can investigate without being noticed. Street vultures are the biggest gang in Detroit. I have a large supply of bullets. 